Hello, everyone. Welcome to Global Government News. Today is Thursday, August 11th, 2011. I'm Darko. This is part one of this news bulletin, everyone. Uh, my website is ggnonline.com. That's ggnonline.com. I have a poll up here. Do you support a Libyan-style intervention in Syria by Western forces? I posted that a couple days ago, about three days ago now, so you can go and check that out. I don't know what the stats are. I can't see them, but... Uh, Either way, you can go down here and click on Network Blogs all the way at the bottom of my site. Um, otherwise, Global Government News has a group on Facebook. Uh, you can check that out in the YouTube's video description where the rest of the headlines and links that I cover in these videos will be. So go all the way down to the bottom and check that out. The Global Government News group, you can join. Uh, DDarko, DDarko2012, sorry, is my YouTube channel. That's DDarko2012. Okay, so uh, no videos today for the first video. Uh, just going to get right into the news. We have stocks drop 4%, Dow skids 500, led by banks. This is August 10th, 2011. So stocks finished near recession lows and choppy trading Wednesday with the Dow and S&P wiping out all the previous session's gains, led by financials as investors continue to cautiously monitor developments in the European banks. So it said here the Dow Industrial Average tumbled 519 points or 4.62% to finish up at 10,719. And uh, we're going to move on here. Dow surges 3.9% in bounce back day. This is August 11th. And it says the U.S. blue chip stocks notch a strong advance Thursday as investors seize on favorable corporate and economic reports to recover most of the ground they lost in the previous session. And the S&P's 500 uh, stock index jumped 51 points or 4.63%. European shares closed down 3.5% on French bank fears. European shares ended sharply down on Wednesday, led lower by a steep sell-off in banking shares, with Society General down more than 21% at a one point on a slew of rumors about the bank. And um, we have the Nikkei from Japan down 1.29% in morning trading. Tokyo stocks fell Thursday morning, and uh, bonds plummet after dismal 30-year bond auction. U.S. Treasury bond markets suffered its worst long bond auction in two and a half years. Thursday, as foreign investors shunned it in a wake of a damaging budget battle and downgrade to credit standings of the United States Corporation. You can call the United States a, a, a corporate entity, I guess, and then sub-corporations uh, known as tax slaves uh, with the numbers and everything it says here uh, apply to them to pay off their debt from the moment they're born to the moment they're, they die. It says here dollar falls on Fed's pledge to maintain key interest rate at artificially uh, record low. So dollar tumbled the most in at least 40 years against the Swiss franc after the Fed pledged to keep its interest rates at a record low at least through mid-2013 to revive the flagging economic recovery. The euro bounces as Swiss franc sink, and the Australian dollars open uh, half a cent higher on Friday morning after an overnight rally in European and U.S. equity markets. Then the yuan, the Chinese currency, has biggest leap in three years and may herald stimulus for global recovery. The uh, strongest gain in more than three years for the yuan may herald a new stimulus for flagging global recovery as Chinese borders get more firepower to buy up goods from uh, slowing economies in the U.S. and Europe. And this is what insider trainer uh, trainers, insider tr uh, traders are doing, such as um, uh, Warren Buffett and that, and possibly Soros and other uh, individuals. Uh, where they're taking advantage of uh, uh, all this fear and scaremongering that's going on with the markets, and uh, it is bad. Uh, but they do profit off of it, and then that's when they come in like sharks and they buy up everything on the cheap, and they consol and companies go under, and uh, uh, conglomerates and monopolies and duopolies uh, consolidate their uh, market shares and that. So S and P cuts AAA ratings on thousands of municipal bonds after U.S. downgrade, and then we have uh, Treasury sell 10-year notes at record low rate. It says a stampede by investors into Treasuries helped the U.S. government borrow at record low rates for the second straight day. Sold 24 billion. Uh, dollars in 10-year treasury notes Wednesday afternoon at a yield of 2.14 percent. That's the lowest borrowing rate for an auction of 10-year notes on record according to treasury uh, uh, dealers. So and then U.S. closer to junk bond, junk bond status than AAA, says both. The U.S. credit rating uh, would be even worse than its recent downgrade from the S&P's uh, if the nation was judged as a private company, banking analysis Dick Bove told uh, CNBC on Tuesday. So 
we move on, China to float $28 billion won uh, more in 30-year book entry T-bonds. So this is from the People's Daily. The Ministry of Finance said on Wednesday that it would sell 28 billion won or $4 billion U.S. billion more in 30-year book entry treasury bonds starting Thursday. And it says down here the ministry previously sold 30 billion won worth of 30-year book entry treasury bonds. No, moving on here, Beijing downgrades U.S. Treasury to uh, A+. Plus. Is anybody listening? So go on there and check that out. And we move on to commodities like we usually do. Um, and they've really taken a dive. Uh, we have Brent crude futures uh, up a dollar fifty, and it's a one hundred and eight dollars. Gas oil futures uh, up to almost uh, twenty nine dollars. Heating oil futures up uh, three forty, and uh, natural gas up a tad. Gasoline uh, again up. Canola and uh, most of the agriculture uh, futures were up. Uh, corn was up twenty five dollars. Cocoa up fifteen. And then we have wheat uh, up twenty four. Soybeans at uh, thirty. And uh, moving down here to metals, of course, you have copper, $403. It was up almost $12. But gold down 30, uh, almost $33 at $1,751. So it's below the $1,800 mark an ounce for gold and silver at $38.66. And silver was down $0.65. Cents. Gold falls most in seven weeks on stocks and margins. So we continue on with uh, commodities grain surge as U.S. cuts crop forecasts after damaging Midwest heat wave and corn, soybean, wheat prices surge, signaling higher costs for uh, food and biofuels that the government said U.S. farmers will harvest smaller crops than forecasted last month following a damaging uh, heat wave, probably induced by uh, uh, weather weapons such as harbinet heating the ionosphere. Uh, and it's all for politics and that, and uh, it's a rigged economy. We all know that. So, you know, who knows? Maybe it is just uh, El Nino, El Nina, and uh, maybe it is climate change. Maybe there is real uh, man-made global warming. So mortgage rates decline. So mortgage rates in the U.S. continued their decline over the past week amid slower-than-expected economic growth and a further deterioration of the overall labor market, according to Freddie Mac's weekly survey of mortgage rates. Then we have late mortgage payment rate continues to decline. Percentage of late-paying mortgage holders, those who were 60 days or more uh, late with their payment, decreased in the spring for the sixth straight quarter, according to credit rate reporting agency TransUnion. Daily Coast uh, article, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac needs 5.1 billion bailout again. So, so that was August 10th, and then we have Bank of America sells part of mortgage portfolio to Fannie Mae. This is a Wall Street Journal article. Bank of America has agreed to sell part of its home loan portfolio to government-controlled housing giant uh, Fannie Mae as the bank looks to shed assets and Paris uh, exposure to an array of mortgage woes. The debt finalized last Friday will deliver the rights to process and collect payments of a pool of 400,000 loans with unpaid principal balances of $73 billion says people familiar with the deal said, then uh, feds to keep rates low at least through. Me... So just another article, fed plans to keep rates artificially low at least through mid-2013. But Bank of Canada faces interest rate dilemma as well, promised by U.S. Federal Reserve to keep rates low may force Canada to follow. Then we have inflation uh, will hit 5% by the end of this year. Bank of England warns that U.S. consumer confidence declines to lowest since May in the Bloomberg Index. Cut in household spending points to a recession. Hmm, slowing growth. Says here, a penny pinching puts recovery on thin ice. So check that out. Uh, it's all about consumer confidence in that and consumer spending, which is... Then we have Americans fear worse economic woes, says Poll. And according to the latest Reuters uh, poll, it says here that 73% of Americans maintain uh, that the U.S. is heading in the wrong direction, while 47% believe that the worst economic woes are yet to surface. Then next up, we have U.S. jobs data strikes optimistic note for the economy. Initial claims fall to four-month low last week. Four-week uh, moving average falls by 3,000. And uh, moving on here, Greece jobless rate continues to rise unemployment rate lifts to 51 uh, percent in july and that is in australia of course it says here and uh, i believe they're predicting it to uh, keep rising trade deficit of uh, u.s unexpectedly widens to 53 billion on export slump a national debt of 14 trillion dollars try 211 trillion and this individual uh professor uh lawrence uh what is this, uh, Katikov? 
Uh, he served as an economist uh, for President Reagan in the Council of Economic Advisors, and he was quoted as saying that uh, the Americans' unofficial payment obligations like Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid benefits jack up the debt figures substantially. Quote, if you add up all the promises that have been made for spending obligations, including defense expenditures, and you subtract all the taxes that we expect to collect, the difference is $211 trillion. That's the fiscal gap, he says. That's our true indebtedness. So... Moving on here to a Washington Post poll. It was done August 9th. Uh, those that are approved at, are at 44, and uh, that's an all-time low. If you look at uh, over here and then uh, look at uh, disapprove, it's 46%. Moving on, voters favor pay cuts for Congress, President, until budget is balanced. That was on August 2nd. Then uh, HHS, Obamacare-funded health care centers for migrants won't check immigration status. So it says here that uh, they announced on Tuesday awarded $28 million to 67 community health centers with funds from the Obamacare with a reform law. It said that uh, Andrews said that grant recipients will not check the immigrant status of people seeking services. So you have this, you have the DREAM Act that was just passed that allowed uh, legal immigrants to uh, receive education benefits for higher learning, and then you, now you have the um, uh, the North American Union NAFTA, uh, 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 what is it called, the superhighway, uh, where you basically um, you're, you have these uh, Mexican truck drivers now that are legally able to uh, cross over the border. And uh, you also have uh, helicopters straying into the U.S. territory. Oh, mil 33 military, Mexican military uh, straying uh, and brought back to Mexico by accident. They just strayed. So you, you're really seeing the North American Union alive and well. Uh, stamp her guilty. HRA uh, worker admits $7 million scam. A city welfare worker faced up to six and a half years in a slammer after pleading guilty yesterday to uh, cooking up a $7 million food stamp scam. And she was 44 years old. Mayor defends Ron Manuel uh, defends a $150 million property tax hike to fund Chicago schools. So that's right. They're going to uh, raise high. I heard this on the radio. Uh, I just made my skin real. Uh, I don't have to pay property taxes because I'm a renter. But if I was a re if I was a, a a a person who you know was in a mortgage or at a home, and I had to pay property taxes to fund the indoctrination of young slaves, you know, re-education camps or education, right? Uh, I'd be pretty damn pissed because uh, look at this. I mean, we're in a really rough time right now for people where they're having barely having enough money, whatever to put, you know, for gas or, or just uh, you know, as far as disposable income goes to pay for, you know, their uh, children to go back to school in the fall for new clothes and books and all that. And it's like, it's just one more thing, <laughs> you know. And he says, uh, I remember him quoting that he was saying that. Uh, that he doesn't want, uh, he won't tolerate an overblown bureaucracy. That's what he said when he said it. And that he was going to raise the property taxes to the legal limit. So, and it's really just a bunch of crap. I was going on there reading about, oh, how the system's broken, you know, and we got to fix it, and I'm not going to put money into it, a broken system. It's like, it's not broke. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. I've, I've mentioned this before, in lot, even in the last video, but the point of the education system is to dumb down, um, uh, student and to really just get them uh, not to want to uh, get involved or feel like they have any say in anything just to, uh, to be a good collective to do their part and to listen to the experts to capitulate and they've done a good job they've be they've beaten that out of the young generation and the generations now and my generation they've beaten that uh, creativity out of them that uh, that uh, willingness to question things and question authority and say why why you know so there's supposedly a big melee in Queensland Australia over a state budget and uh, basically they end up compromising and giving a pay raise to, uh, three three point six percent to police officers and then we have this in the UK it says that the number of police on the city streets in England were boosted to help restore the calm in the past few days so look at that. Uh, now now they have a good reason not to cut the police in the UK. All six Democrats on deficit reduction plan earn S from tax. This is it. Link will be posted. Go check it out at the bottom of the article. Debt panel co-chairman Murray counts defense industry as top do Talking about Boeing and Raytheon, real good moral companies. Taxes on the table. Super community. So they're going to put those uh, taxes in now. Insiders buy stocks at highest rate. 
since 2009. And while investors want out, insiders buy in. That's talking about Buffett. Be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. Italy outlines austerity measures, which include social programs. Cameron denies austerity drive caused the UK riots. British police were ordered to stand down and watch it while insurance companies are asking them to foot the bill for them not doing it.